this poses a lot of questions, dear colleagues. Tama ba yun? That the members of the 18th Congress who passed the bill, natapos na yung term nila, natapos na rin yung term ng presidente, na kung sino dapat mag kung ividito niya yon or ilalapse into law niya, o kung ano man ang balak niyang gawin, dinelay para makarating sa next president, that is a legal quandary, my dear colleagues. And for such an important issue, again, I wash my hands. I refuse to be part of this historical moment where nagawa ito ng 18th Congress. I move on now to the substantial issues. For the information of the newly elected and comebacking members of Congress, the previous law, Republic Act Number 11467, Syntax Reform Law, was enacted on January 22, 2020. So, timeline. Nag-start nag, ng 18th Congress uh, July ng 2019. By December, napasa natin ang Syntax Law. Within how many months? Kasi priority revenue measure yon. Doon nagkaroon ng debate. Uh, Senator Toll was actually a proponent of banning. Pero we debated it and, you know, uh, nadala pa natin sa diskusyon. Kung naaalala nyo, well, di naman natin panahon yon. Wala na siguro umabot dito noon. Sa US yung prohibition. So sabi, wag tayong ganun, wag natin iban, i-regulate natin. So that decision was made to regulate sin products, including vapes, in the sin tax law. And to regulate it, to be able to collect tax money, we wanted to be sure na protected din ang mga tao. So we passed three important provisions in that syntax law. Number one, ang dapat mag-regulate is FDA, Food and Drug Authority. Siya talaga ang may trabaho niyan. I'll go into that later some more. And we also said na dapat ang may access niyan age 21. Kasi all over the world, ang move, pati sa sigarilyo, papunta na sa 21. Do you know... Is it Australia, that, that age? In Australia. I think it's Australia. I'm having my staff confirm. They passed a law where if you were born this year, you will never touch a cigarette in your life, kahit 18 years old ka na. Ganong katinde ang tobacco regulation in other countries. Anyway, I digress. The third protective measure was only plain tobacco and menthol is allowed. My brother, Senator Alan Cayetano, was the Speaker of the House when this bill was passed. When he was no longer Speaker, the House immediately passed a vape bill, and soon after, in the Senate, my vape bill and a number of other vape bills which were pending in the Committee on Health was transferred to the Committee on Trade, and the Committee on Trade created a subcommittee which was chaired by Senator Recto, and they proceeded to discuss this measure as if it was a trade measure, which is clearly on the record. Secondary ang health. Who cares kung mamatay ang mga bata? Basta yung daw gustong tumigil manigarilyo, may access sila. Well, guess what? You don't need a vape bill para magka-access. Open your phone, dun sa mga may Gcash, yan ang unang-unang ad na magpa-pop up. Available po ang e-cigs, HTPs, at lahat ng variations ng vapes without a vape bill. So to say na kailangan ng vape bill para yung mga gustong tumigil manigarilyo may access, that's a lie. Gusto nila ng vape bill because gusto nilang tanggalin yung tatlong provision na sinabi ko sa inyo. At yun na nga ang nangyari. Pinasa ng 18th Congress under my objections again and again and again. Lowering the age of access to 18. Making the DTI responsible for this harmful product. And opening the flavors to more and more flavors. Which, as shown in other countries, is the number one attraction to young people, more flavors. The FDA law is clear. It regulates all things that may have an effect on health. Dear colleagues, I was the chairman of the Committee on Health when we passed the FDA law in 2009. 
The provision of the FDA law states health products means food, drugs, cosmetics, devices, biologicals, vaccines, in vitro diagnostic reagents, and household urban hazardous substances, and or a combination and a deri derivative thereof. It shall refer to products that may have an effect on health. May effect ba sa health ang vapes? Meron! The proponents claim it's a good effect kasi better daw than cigarettes. O, di may effect pa rin, di ba? But, this Congress, I hope not this 19th Congress, the 18th Congress decided hindi siya health product. Ilagay natin yan sa DTI. This industry, dear colleagues, is slimy. They have a track record of avoiding regulation. In FDA, it, sorry, in 2009, when we passed the FDA law, FDA law that I just mentioned, it was clearly intended to cover tobacco products. Sabi nga eh, all products that have an effect on health. When the FDA issued regulations covering cigarette products, pinatiro ng tobacco company yan. Yes, pinangungunahan niya ng Philip, Philippine Tobacco Institute. Members include Philip Morris Fortune Tobacco Corporation. Ilang taon yan sa korte kasi ayaw nila magparegulate. Excluded daw sila. Special sila. Do not regulate tobacco in the Philippines para lahat ng mga Pilipino maadik sa sigarilyo at mamatay sa lung cancer. Yan ang posisyon ng tobacco industry including the Philippine Tobacco Institute. But guess what? A few weeks later, 13 years after I passed that law, with a few of you here, of course, Lauren was here, um, a few other... A few others, um, my batchmate, Senator Lito, uh, Senator um, um, Jingoy, Senator Bong, among others. When we passed that law, it's been 13 years. Finally, the Supreme Court said, covered ang tobacco. Covered. It's a victory. Covered. Very clear. The Supreme Court said, tobacco products are undoubtedly health products within the definition under RA number 9711 or the Food and Drug Administration Act of 2009 due to their harmful effects on health. As to the health aspect, tobacco products fall under the regulatory authority of the Food and Drug Administration. Marami pa, marami pa siya sinabi, shortcut, I won't, I won't belabor the point. Of course, the tobacco industry files a reconsideration, so pending pa rin yan. Tama ba yun? Tama ba yun? Let's decide, dear colleagues, because we can put an end to this now. Now, let me ask you, if we can allow a product that clearly has effects on health, whether harmful, not so harmful, very harmful, you decide, we're not the experts. What's next? Where will the next lobby come from, dear colleagues?